Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shonal here, about to give you another Injustice 2 video. In this video, we're going to be doing the unlocking of the Last Laugh the Joker live for both Twitch and YouTube, as Twitch will get to see it first, followed by YouTube. So currently we're at 155 out of 160 fragments towards Last Laugh the Joker, and as you can see by my new overlay on Twitch, I am supporting anybody who donates bits as well as the subscribers, which is a whopping two right now, but thank you very much, Freddie Otterson and Gavino, for your continued loyalty and support. Both of you guys have been watching me for years, and I really appreciate both of you. So we're going to refresh this third battle. I could wait until tomorrow and not pay 200 gems, but it is more fragments I get towards a four-star last laugh the Joker when it gets repeated twice, so I'm going to take it. So... With that said, we have all level 45 four stars, and last laugh the Joker is gold. Now, I don't know if they made this challenge a little bit easier, or if my guys are just a lot stronger than they used to be. I don't think I had a five star Mythic Wonder Woman at the point. I could be wrong. I'd have to rewatch the video. But Predator Batman is obviously one of my favorite cards, and he's almost at 30,000 threat. He's actually got more threat than five star Mythic Wonder Woman, and I only have three gear items at level 20, two of them are level 10. And I could probably get a fourth gear on the 20, but I want to level up Last Laugh the Joker's gear. So I'll not be uh, level up Predator Batman for a couple more days. As I'm going to have to recharge and get some gear. The Last Laugh the Joker comes in. That is a big shot for over 15,000 damage. That bang and down goes Last Laugh the Joker. So yeah, 5 star Mythic Wonder Woman makes this challenge extremely easy. And we got exactly 160 fragments for Last Laugh the Joker, as well as an extra pair of boots. So you can unlock the card from the challenge thing, but I really like doing it in the actual window. When you go to unlock a character. So, we are only missing four characters. Enrage Bane we're working on. Entangling Poison Ivy we'll get when the challenge resets again. And I have not pulled an Arkham Knight Batman. Hopefully I can get him soon. The Joker. Creepy. Alright, so when anyone is defeated, the Joker gains 5% damage at rank 1. At rank 2, it goes up to 8% damage, so it's 3%. And then it goes up to 10%. So it looks like at rank 5, it's 15% damage. So you can get upwards of 60% damage when it's maxed out, and up to 40% damage when the Joker hits that once. So I'm not sure how we can actually test that. We could probably test a super move with no combo against the same fight and see what kind of damage we get. So we're also going to unlock the, the talents. We got 4% defense, which is pretty good. 12% stun resistance, and we also get 4% critical attack chance. So re-roll into stun resist. We get block effectiveness, which I think is slightly better. So we're going to spend all the 33,000 credits. We have to level up first, though. So we're going to spend all of our agility capsules that we've been saving over the last couple of weeks. And we got enough to get Last Laugh the Joker up to level 38 before we equip any gear. 8,550 threat. Health goes from 792 to 3,456 damage. 181 to 792. So now we're going to equip all of the gear. Hopefully we have enough shards to actually get everything up to level 5. I don't think it matters which gear I equip. All the gear is equipped and the bonuses are 20% crit attack damage, 5% attack, and 10% attack. For Last Laugh the Joker, it probably is better to stack attack. Because you do get uh, multiplying buffs, just like with Mythic Wonder Woman. Stack an attack on her is not a horrible idea at all. So we have 4, 000, like 4,800 shards. Let's start off by getting every gear item to level 5, which is what is most important. And if we get garbage passes, we'll re-roll them. You get 20 attack, that's actually okay. I don't think that's the good attack roll. There are two uh, layers of rolls you can get. And the way you can tell if you have a good roll for your stat is if you get a point two increase for damage. I believe attack gets like 3 or 4 versus 2 or 3. And the health gets 40 instead of 30. 
So keep an eye on all of those, and that's how you can get the good rolls. Also, if we get a corresponding roll between two gear arms, I can showcase that off as well. So if you could farm a specific character's gear past level 5, we'll leave fast attack chance for now in case we get a crappy reroll elsewhere that we need to do it. Fast attack is not the end of the world because it does raise your combo. There are obviously worse things like crit resist, stun resist. We're going to get this gear up to level 5 as well. It's only like 200 shards to get a gear in from level 1 to 5, and there we go. Stun resistance. Fuck you, another round. We get 4.5% crit damage. We'll keep that for now. And we got 20 attack. 2.5% fast attack chance. So I think we got the better roll for uh, crit damage, and if it goes up 0.2%, that's true. Actually, 0.3, so 4.8 crit attack damage. I believe the other mod only goes up 0.1 or 0.2%. It goes up a lot, though. Like, I think I had a level 20 gear with a 9% stat. So, stacking crit damage is also not bad for Last Laugh the Joker, because it corresponds with attack as well. So we're going to get the vest up as well. Gear up Joker for action, indeed. So we get fast attack chance. What did we get on the boots? 2.5%. So 4% is actually the better roll. Again, solidifying what I said, there's two levels of re-rolls that you can get on every gear item. So you want to pay attention to that. And when you have 39 characters like I do, you can really spot a good roll and a bad roll. It's also very important for min-maxing stats. Like we get 250 health. And let's actually reforge that, see if we can get an offensive stat. Critical attack resistance is crap. And we get 4.5 crit attack damage again. So once again we rolled crit attack damage, but that's okay. Because if we get crit chance, that's really good. So there's the fast attack chance. Let's re-roll the 2.5 first. We get 250 health. Again, I want offensive stats, so I want stuff like attack. Defense is okay. 4% defense isn't bad. And again, you can tell if it's a good modifier by upgrading it. And if you get 0.2 on defense, you get a good roll. If you get 0.1, it's a bad roll. So keep that in mind as well. That's a little lesson for you guys on gear upgrading. So now we're going to take the 33,000 credits. And let's actually upgrade the bang, because I know that's his good ability. Let's upgrade it as up to level 10. Which is where I like to take all of my new characters just to get them off the ground a little bit. So we're going to upgrade this to level 10. And then I'll probably upgrade the level... I really don't like the laughing gas. So I'm probably going to upgrade the special 3 first. So we're going to upgrade this as much as we can. And we'll just leave the laughing gas at level 1 if we run out of credits. Dailies have refreshed, so we can probably get a couple of credits from dailies too. So yeah, we can get up to level 8. Alright. So, regarding Last Laugh the Joker, the test I'm going to run is going to be a really interesting one. We are going to try and do a super move with no combo and see how much damage it does. And then we're going to do a super move with everybody knocked out except one person and see what kind of damage we get. So let's go into Chapter 3. And are there any bronzes I want to farm? I don't think so. Let's actually just do a normal battle. Let's do uh, this fight. Threat level is really low, so let's actually go to chapter four. Is at least want some sort of challenge. Let's do four eighteen on normal. Thirty-seven thousand threat. That should be acceptable. So let's put in. What the hell? What is that? The Joker. What? What the fuck is this? 
What? The Joker. There's no portrait when he has gear? What the hell? The Joker. Well, that's something new I learned. I had no idea that it would glitch out like that. So it almost makes sense to not have all the gear on him. That is really weird. Alright, so I want Dr. Fate. So we can... Not that Dr. Fate. I want the other Dr. Fate. So we can uh, do the super moves a little bit easier. Let's throw in Swap Thing. He's not really a good card. So, the first test I want to do... We are going to do a super move on Cyborg with no combo, nobody... What the fuck? Is that supposed to be like that? Alright, so let's start cycling the Joker. I guess it doesn't really matter who we do the super move on. I guess whoever we do it on, we can target them. What? Oh, damage over time on hits, it looks like. So, Green Lantern's going to waste back. power armory. We only need to get to 8. So, one more bar. We obviously have to wait for the armor to go away. Let's take a hit so we have no combo, for sure. And let's do a super move on Green Lantern. So, we're going to knock everybody out except Green Lantern on the next test. This is kind of a test to see how much damage the super move does. Hopefully, we get a value. 1,932. Not impressive. But let's see what the damage goes at uh, when everybody's knocked out except for the Joker. No combo, and we'll see how it goes. Well, taking a lot of damage, though. That kind of sucks. Hope you got more in the playbook. The power drain is going to be annoying. Clock's running out. And because we love Cyborg, we're going to shoot him right in the face for the victory in our first test fight. 360 XP, 1,140 credits, and the Flash's weapon. Alright, so we're going to do the fight again. And we're going to do a, make sure we get a super move on Green Lantern again. And we are going to make sure that everybody is knocked out first. And this is a kind of a damage test. We can test the basic attacks next. And actually, we could test that anyway. So we can kind of get a feel of how much damage we do. Let's start off with the Joker. So let's test out that swipe. 242. This world is protected. Let's get rid of Batman. I know Green Lantern comes in. Stop where you are. So now, well, that was a crit. That was a crit. Couldn't see the damage there. The number just keeps going away for some reason. Yeah. Let's get rid of Swamp Thing. Green Lantern's back. I really want Cyborg to come in so we can get rid of him. Feels good to be green. Now that should get rid of Swamp Thing pretty much. Dr. Fate is in. I guess we're going to have to do it on Cyborg. So let's actually get him down to his resurrection and then let Dr. Fate die. Playbook. That power drain is annoying. Clock's running out. So here's the resurrect. Now let's let Dr. Fate die. And not do a special three like an idiot. God damn it. Alright, that test failed. 360 XP, 1140 credits.
Yeah, so it's really weird that Last Laugh the Joker has a regular portrait, but his portrait is messed up when you actually put all his gear on him. Batman starts in. We got Last Laugh the Joker in as well. There's no place to hide. Get rid of Emerald Green Lantern. Batman comes in. I should have just taken that. Batman has got unbreakable cyborgs in. Let's let swap thing get knocked out again. Actually, let's show off the crowbar while he still has extra life. That just looks badass. And I'm sure you guys have seen that in the challenge, but I really like that. Let's do it again. Just because he's black. Now let's get rid of Swamp Thing and build up towards the super roof. Dr. Fate comes in. That's exactly what we want. You better call an audible. So Dr. Fate is getting pummeled by Cyborg, down he goes, we're gonna go off the super move and let's see how much damage it does with everybody knocked out. It should be 40% more, so I believe we saw 1600 damage on that. <laughs> 2627 damage, so it is a noticeable difference in damage. Obviously it's gonna be a lot better when you combo it, and once the Joker gets some more XP. 360 XP, 1,140 credits, and Green Arrow's chest plate. So that's enough combat for Last Laugh the Joker. We have him unlocked. It is our 39th character, and we still have to get Arkham Knight, Batman, Enraged Bane, uh, Entangling Poison Ivy, and uh, Powered Supergirl. So if you like this video, unlocking Last Laugh the Joker, including that weird-ass glitch with the portrait, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice 2 videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shona, and wouldn't you like to have a slice of this pizza? Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shona. Subscribe, bitches!